by La Convola San Miguel Chief Ferdinando Zihuanguo aka Anye Endozi. The repair was convinced by the people of Njikoka, Danukovia, and Ocha Federal Constituency to take up the House of Representatives seat. He was assured of their overwhelming support irrespective of the party platform. Ferdinando Zihuanguo because, knowing his cult-like massive followership that cuts across age, gender, social class and political parties in the area, virtually all political parties lined up at his doorstep seeking to win him over, but the Porthar court-based young businessman politely declined, until when he felt the time was ripe for him. Though he experienced some tackles when his electoral victory was repeatedly stolen, the 2015 general election eventually saw him through. But again, that was not after a stringent legal tussle and a painstaking and diligent prosecution of his matter before the election tribunals. On January 12, 2016, he was sworn in at the hallowed chambers of the National Assembly and has since been working tirelessly for his conscience, according to Speaker Yakubu Dagara. And having come this far, and as a good and responsive representative, he was home in the last one week to liaise, relate and commune with his constituents. He also used the opportunity to hold town hall meetings with the members of the constituency. The meetings held at three locations in Agwu UKWU, Nenny and UKPO, within the three council federal constituency, Ingjaikoka, Danukofia and Hanaocha councils. It was described as novel and had never been witnessed before. Significantly, this town hall meetings preceded the kickoff of the 13th edition of his annual free medical outreach for citizens of the federal constituency and beyond. The outreach had remained on the people's calendar since 2009, long before Wang Kuo joined politics. The medical welfare program was graciously attended by the House Speaker, alongside no fewer than 10 other honorable members of the Green Chamber. Despite being his maiden town hall meeting, as a man who had remained close to the people all his life, it was a truly family meeting. He presented his modest achievements, efforts in the area of sponsored bills, motions, job opportunities and school admissions he facilitated for persons of the constituency, especially the youth. The participants were principally drawn from Anagwu UKWU, Nafia, Abigana, Anagwu Adidi, Nemo, Ifait Danu, Yukulu, Nagu, Yumanashi, Yumudioka, Ichida, UKPO and Abba. Others included Agulu Zigbo, Agulu, NRI, Neni, Obeladu, Akwaze, Adazi ENU, Adazi Ani and Adazi Nukwu amongst other nearby and interested communities and citizens. Virtually all the security agencies were also on hand to monitor the activities. In his words, Hun Wankwo, who is a distinguished member of the Anugwu UKWU community's chieftain C title of Anyendo ZNWH Anamela, said the meetings were organized to tell his people how far he has gone in pursuit of their welfare in the last two years at the National Assembly. Commending them for the confidence reposed in him, their love and prayerful support, he described his triumph at the poll in various stages of the election tribunal as belonging to all pointing out that his Ferdinando Zihuanquo Foundation was established as a vehicle to give back to the society, he therefore pledged to continue to represent them well at the National Assembly, involving all his salary, allowances and other emoluments to get things done for them, especially the free medical outreach which has so far touched half million lives and beneficiaries since 2009, women, youth empowerment, for citizens of the constituency, scholarship scheme, benefiting above 200 indigent but bright students. Some have so far graduated and now helping themselves and families, provision of educational aids and materials to students and pupils within the federal constituency. Wankwo has also empowered about 1,000 with cars, kiki tricycle, motorcycles, sewing machines, hair dryers, wheelchairs, grinding, blending machines and generating sets to constituents to assist and appreciate them. He has regularly organized as acquisition and take-off financial support to more than 1,000 citizens and equally attracted employment opportunities to more than 50 constituents amongst other poverty alleviation and welfare tools. Speaking on his near-unquenchable desire to touch people's lives always, Wonkwa disclosed that he is presently building a unique state-of-the-art information communication technology ICT, center in Anagwu UKWU for the training, education and benefit of people of the federal constituency and that he intends to work hand-in-hand -hand with the community leaders, traditional rulers, religious leaders, so that his programs benefit the grassroots more in all the 22 electoral wards of the three council areas, especially now that he has concluded arrangement with the Minister of Health on how to make the National Health Insurance Scheme NHIS, benefit people of his constituency.
It was same with the Bank of Industry, Boy, where he has concluded arrangement on how to obtain soft loan for the local farmers, traders and businessmen, women, his free medical outreach, involving eye and dental treatment, surgeries, tooth refill, cleft palate, surgeries and general treatment the flag off of which was witnessed and performed by the Anambra State Governor Willie Oviano who was represented by his deputy, Dr. Nkem Ogiki attended to about 50,000 beneficiaries within the state. It lasted for nearly two weeks. Tim Ifedi a member of the State Assembly described Wong Kuo as 